This is the peak of our show, guys. This is exactly what you've subscribed and clicked on this channel for. Today's episode, we're eating dinner. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> this is our dinner. <laughs> and we, we, there's an interesting backstory to how this episode came to be. Um, Brandon, would you care to share how this, how this happened? All right. So we play Overwatch and... Oh, it's more specifically Overwatch 2, and if you play that, there's a map called Samoa, and yeah, if you can, that word looks like samosa, and Santos over here is usually hungry, so he <laughs> no. just thinks Shock. of samosa. So he said samosa while we're playing that, so yeah, that, that, that put the idea in our head, and then we were doing some brainstorming for podcast ideas and we put that as a joke because we thought it'd be funny and uh yeah we just decided to do it um we came today uh just to spill the secret today we were we were filming a couple episodes not just one and then uh we looked at the time we're like oh my god it's almost seven o'clock we should probably get dinner <laughs> and then <laughs> he got the idea let's actually do the samosa mukbang so, Santos, are you happy? We finally fulfill your wish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is this his lifelong wish? <laughs> this is his lifelong moment. He's been dreaming for this to happen. Um, anyways, I am actually starving. So, I guess... Now, normally, I don't eat on camera. <laughs> and the last time I did a mukbang was the Mr. Beast Burger. So, hopefully, this, this, this will also do pretty well. Technically, last time was the chicken nuggets. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right, with the anime sauce. It was kind of scuffed, but yeah. Spotify listeners, you're going to have the ASMR of a lifetime. <laughs> this. So... All right, if you, if you enjoy watching us eat, before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so when we post another mukbang, you won't miss it the second it comes out. You need to see this guy in action when he's sitting at the table devouring food. It is actually impressive. <laughs> so before the food gets any colder let's get eaten <laughs> so we have some wraps here uh i think they're both chicken maybe i don't know and then these three boxes of samosas and one spring roll yeah the spring roll was free right yeah well we don't need to talk about the prices that's not we don't need to talk about that. All right. No sauces. Time to dine. And also, um, we looked at some reviews of this place, and there are some reviews saying the chicken might be undercooked. So, might want to check that. Well, we'll we'll take we'll take a look. We'll take one the for the team. We'll be the food critics for you guys. <laughs> there was some food safety um, criticisms in the in the reviews, so a little bit scared. So these are the spring. That just looks so happy doing this. <laughs> right. Should we try? Should we try one? I don't think there's uh, chicken and spring rolls. So it should be okay. This is delicious. <laughs> you guys are napping, sweet. I'm gonna tell you. This is a little tease for the cruise trip episode. I ate like a pig, but <laughs> I mean, I gained like an extra six pounds after the trip. But anyways, back to this episode. Do you want to use a sauce? No, nope, I'm a plain guy. All right. Just oh, also, this is our new setup. In case you haven't noticed, what do you guys think? Major upgrade. These mics were not cheap. I'll tell you that. Yeah, five hundred dollars each. Spring roll time. I would just like to say thank you for listening and subscribing to this channel. This is the content that you deserved. Let me try some sauce. I don't know what sauce this is. I can see someone in the comments violating us. Maybe barbecue. I don't know. Spring roll is not bad. As an Asian, I have very high standards for Asian attempts at food. Like, non-Asian attempted Asian food. 
It's very slimy. Seasoning is good. It's got a decent crunch. Of course, it had to travel from the restaurant to here, so it would have gotten a little soggy along the way. Um, I think if we had it at the place, we at prime crunchiness, I think it might be too hard. It might be too like eating a cracker. So it's good that it softened a little bit. All right, I guess we're gonna go one at a time. Why do you rank the spring rolls? This is this was the free stuff, by the way. I don't know. It's like a generic spring roll, uh, six. <laughs> no expectations. Five, five point five. I don't know. Six. Sure, I'll, I'll agree with Santos. I mean, this is a mukbang. We should probably talk about some stuff. Um, if we were doing this live, I would have just straight up asked the chat and for any questions, like any prompts. But you're not a streamer. I'm not a streamer exactly. <laughs> um, what do you want to talk about? Hmm. Not and nothing to do with my cruise. That's for another episode. Want to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> Video games. Sure. Santos, what have you we, been playing? What have, what have you been playing, Santos? I, I see you on the PS5 sometimes playing some games. Well, me and Brandon have been playing Borderlands. So, from what I have played, I actually just watched the first game and played like a few minutes of the first. Uh, yeah, played a few minutes of that. Because I thought it was... I don't know, a bit on the boring side. And then... <laughs> How much was this? 35 in total. Seems like it, because there's actually not a lot. Uh, yeah, we got, we got kind of scammed. I don't know if we can show this. Um, yeah. Yeah, anyways, and then Brandon and I decided to just play the whole franchise like did you guys do this while when i was on vacation well we started a while ago like before we started playing it was a long time ago we just stopped we just finished the game yeah. so we finished borderlands 2 recently mm -hmm. and we started on pre-sequel so which yeah. which is kind of uh, different because it's in, in space and like there's zero gravity so pretty neat what would you rate your experience so far i need i need a tissue i would rate it like a seven because like every mission you do you have to be at a certain level if you're like under it it was like impossible to do it's like the damage scaling if you're not upgrading your gear regularly you're just gonna start dying so you need to do a lot of gear upgrades and side quests once you get a good build going, the the game is not hard. I played through the game before, like multiple times. There's um, when you play it the first time, it's like normal, and then there's also a true vault hunter mode and the ultra vault hunter mode. I think it's like the second and third playthrough. You basically you play this through the story again, but your level and all the enemy levels are. Increased. Yo, he's talking about Borderlands 2. I sound, I'm gonna no. sound dumb for saying this, but is is it a PvE game or PV, PvP? PvE. But you can like duel each other for free. <laughs> or for, for fun, yeah. Not very balanced, but yeah, you can, you can fight each other. So, let me tie with this question then. What do you think of the Borderlands movie? You've seen the trailer so far. I think it's alright. Um. I guess it depends if they'll nail the borderland humor. Because it has a very... Borderlands 3, a lot of people don't like the story. I won't go into it too much, but that's like the worst part of 3. But the gameplay is very good. Well, we kind of stopped playing Borderlands 2 for a while, so I kind of forgot all the stories. Um, so I had to review it again. <laughs> That was that so far. It's all right. This mouse is a little, little bit of spice, not that much. Want to try one? Did you eat it? Yet? Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, 
curry, right? Mm. Yeah. A bit of spice. What have you been playing? <laughs> Obviously, I've been playing Overwatch with you guys. Um, a lot of Fortnite. Dead by Daylight more recently, actually. I, they've been adding a lot of cool stuff. There's some anime collabs that they've been doing. There's Chucky is now in the game. I don't even know how they pulled that off. Like a tiny doll killer is now one of the killers. And Chucky? Mm -hmm. yeah, just thinking of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the game's been, I've been grinding that game a lot, um, as survivor and killer. I've, if there's anything I learn is I'm more of a surprise person, like, I catch people off guard. I'm not really, like, the hunter type of killer where I actually, like, will go around tracking down survivors. I'm much more, like, the surprise element. Like, I hide around the corner, they come fix the generator, and then I, BAM, surprise them. Like, I'm better with stealth. Or maybe I just suck at the game, I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty good at Survivor. I know I. Same thing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I haven't done a lot of I haven't done a lot of gaming videos in general, let alone DVD. The last time I did a Dead by Daylight video, I think I got like two thousand views. It was actually pretty good. But um, I I I definitely have gotten significantly better at the game. It's just I I just I just don't do gaming videos so much these days. I also bought the Godzilla X Kong skins on Warzone for a video i didn't realize how expensive it was going to be so anyone who's watching this episode right now please go check out that video because that was goddamn expensive to do for a game i barely play <laughs> at least for fortnite i have a i have a justification that i play the game enough so this game is a little bit on the why did you spend that money side <laughs> oh yeah there's a godzilla collab with brawl stars monster vs godzilla or toho japanese godzilla? think toho I guess uh, that's fair. Oh, did you know there's a Monster vs. Mobile game coming this summer? Did not know that. So you can play as Godzilla, he can play as Kong, and can team up against like Ghidorah or Mechagodzilla. It's like kind of like that. Oh, here's another prompt. Marvel's Overwatch ripoff. What do we think of that? Champions? Those Marvel Rivals. Rivals, okay. Well, they had their closed beta, like, recently, so... Did you try it? Or no, no, no. Did you watch you it? You have to, like, sign up. Do you see gameplay of it? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, we know nothing. There's this, like, um, new character, and a sp they're supposed to be, like, a K-pop star or something. What? <laughs> Is it an actual Marvel character? Well, a new Marvel character for the game. Oh, they made it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a... It's a wrap. I don't know. It's all right. It's in third person. Not saying third person is bad. When... What is that that you're unboxing or unwrapping? It's a, some some sort of wrap. I forget. This, it's a wrap. I don't know what flavor. I haven't tried that yet, but what do you rate the spring rolls? 6.5? Not bad, just way too tiny. Well, normally some of those are big. Okay, you want me to split this into threes? Sure. Well, this afternoon, if not that anyone asks, but this afternoon I had ramen for lunch at a brand new ramen place. Pretty good for its price. You pay um, two can dine for 40 bucks. You get one, two bowls of ramen, two drinks, and one gyoza side dish. I think we should try that sometime. Ramen or udon? You mean like in general or what, what we want to do? Your preference. Next? In general, what do you prefer? Ah, uh, ramen. I think ramen's better, but I haven't had much like good udon outside of hot pot. So I don't know. So why ramen? There's different choices and everything well yeah i think there's more choices i think udon is more um the soup for udon is more clear ramen uses more of the heavy creamier soups there's all like um broth based where udon is like a clear soup i don't know how that was the best also i like the they had chashu and the and chashu is good yeah, yeah. yeah good. oh the ramen i had today the chashu i had was mighty fatty anyone who likes really fat meats yeah 
that's gonna be good. I don't really like lean meat as much. It's just it's just too dry. It's like you're eating cardboard. Is, um, I don't know if I can show the camera. The chicken's cooked. So. It's cooked. All right, we're good. We're good. The health cooked. Health Canada ain't gonna come after us. Don't worry. We didn't check the other wrap. The All right, it's my first time trying this. Wait, this what was this called again? The samosa. Oh, samosa. Okay. That's the reason why we're eating. This it was because of this thing. Because of the name. And Santos. <laughs> no, because of eating Santos. So because of eating Santos. Well. What? No, Santos just here because his food he can eat. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I think it's that too. Hmm. There's like curry in it. Yeah. You're right. I'm gonna be honest, not really my cup of tea. But it's not bad for what it is. I'll give it a I'll give it a six. I think the spring one was better. Oh, we can talk about the the movie we're seeing next week. Sure. Or we leave it for later? I don't think we're gonna do a vid. Uh, did you put on the document? Are we gonna? Do I it? did. Oh, we are we gonna. Like, we are I gonna review it briefly because okay. I haven't watched it yet. Of course. Okay, we are gonna review it. Okay. It's basically um, the first four episodes of the Transformers TV show from the eighties. Just like, in theaters too. We're watching it yeah, theaters. in theaters. But like, they're gonna be like new voice voiceovers for all the characters. Or they're redoing all the voices. But, like, of course, some actors have passed away, so they're going to be replaced with new ones. So, as a Transformers loyalist, Transformers 1, go. It's... Well, it's a new take on the origin story um, of the two factions, Autobots and Decepticons. But... It's like before when Optimus and Megatron were on good terms. Yeah. Well, basically, well, I, I kind of know how it's going to end, but... I think everyone knows how it's going to end. <laughs> well, I, I, I can... Okay. <laughs> Should I elaborate or... I don't know. What do you think happens between Optimus and Megatron? Optimus wins. <laughs> no. Have you seen the Michael Bay movies? <laughs> nope. I don't really watch Transformers, so no clue. Like, um, when Cybertron was was like before the faction stuff, you they call it the Golden Age. So basically, Optimus Prime was called Orion Pax before, and he was like a librarian. And then, in the IDW comics, uh, Megatron was like a miner. <laughs> and, yeah, I know. Cause the IDW comics have like um, there's different. There's a power um, hierarchy thing, whatever. And basically, like the, I think depicted in um, this movie, the lower the lower class uh, robots cannot transform because they don't have this uh, thing called the T cog, which lets them transform. And then higher class or higher class robots can transform and think they're like politicians or whatever. So, so they um, Optimus and Megatron were friends, and they both agreed that this this power hierarchy class thing was uh, was not good. But their ways of solving that solution was different. Megatron wanted to do it a more violent way with force, and Optimus Prime wanted to. Orion Pax wanted to do it with uh, more like a peaceful way. So they, that's how the factions were created. So good versus evil, and then of course they flee to Earth, and then the the Autobots flee to Earth for more, uh, more, more um, energy that they can use. What do you think of Brian Tyree Henry and Chris Hemsworth voicing them? Because it's not Peter Cullen that does Optimus. It's... Well, 
Well, it's not Optimus. It's a Ryan Pack, so it's a kind of a different character. But I don't know. It's fine. I think they're both doing a decent job at voice acting. So they also deliberately chose celebrities, so people will, will watch the movie. I right? mean, Brian Terry Henry seems like this is the year for him. He was in GXK. Now he's gonna be in this movie. Oh. Yeah. He he plays uh, Bernie. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Oh uh, yeah, what'd you think of the rap? It's all right. I give it a six out of ten. Seven. Does it satisfy your cravings? There's not enough meat in the rap. What is this meat? Mystery meat. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Human it's chicken. Meat. Is it cooked? No. Yeah, I ate it. We're gonna get the uh, poison food poisoning tomorrow. Or at least it's on camera. This, this will hold well in court. We have evidence. <laughs> so when like someone else prosecutes them for us, there you go. There's there's evidence. <laughs> Anyways, the other wrap is a chicken tikka wrap. I think the tikka masala. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna be those one of those crazy people and dissect this. So I'm gonna check whatever the hell this is. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> chicken i better not die it looks like a sausage other wrap yeah yeah i don't know about this you don't like it <laughs> it's very lean and dry mm. meat's a bit questionable <laughs> it's questionable. <laughs> you don't even know what you're eating. You're like, I don't know why you just ate. Oh yeah, have you seen the Transformers One trailer? <laughs> I have not. Oh. Okay, so you don't even know what we're talking about. I don't think he does. I don't know anything. All I know is Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime origin story. That that's all you need to know. Okay. Optimus Prime good. Megatron bad. No, Megatron was good at that point. Really? Yes. Optimus Prime is good. He always wins. Also, um, I actually put this on the document, but I feel like we can imp put in this episode together. Put it together. Godzilla X Kong 3 is confirmed. It's happening. I, I see. Didn't, didn't it just happen? That's two, right? Well, there was Godzilla vs. Kong, and then this new movie. Third one was just announced, and they they're hiring the Shang Chi writer, who also wrote Across the Spider Verse, obviously Shang Chi, and he wrote a, a, a couple other Marvel movies, and he's gonna write this uh, God's X Kong three. So, um, what I basically want to talk about is formulate your story. What do you think is gonna happen in that movie? I guess the first question is, are they going to bring an original classic Toho villain, like Ghidorah, Mechagodzilla, like those villains, bring into the MonsterVerse, or they're going to do it in this movie and come up with new original villains like Scar King and Shimo? Let me quickly analyze the mystery meat. Sure. I guess I'll start. I actually want, I don't want them to do Destroyer yet. Destroyer is the Thanos, basically, of monsters, and I feel like it'll be too soon if they just went ahead and made him the villain. So I actually am for them bringing an original Toho monster and make a new character, make a new villain. I say, I say they should bring a, a monster like uh, Gigan, Hedera, or like the blob monster looking thing. I don't know the name. And there's also, what else? Who else? Oh, Jet Jaguar. There's a very popular thing on on the internet right now where people Sounds want. Was that chicken was raw? He just gobbled it up without a problem. I think it's cooked. It's like is it slightly purple. I don't know. Chicken needs to be fully cooked. Look cooked to you, Chef Ryan. What do you think? As long as there's no pink, should be fine. Okay, well, anyways, yeah. Um, so they should do, like, Jet Jaguar, because the popular internet thing the internet is talking about right now is Trapper, the Australian guy, who is basically the scientist, he should develop Jet Jaguar as, like, a Pacific Rim-style mech, and he should pilot it. 
I think that would be really cool to see Jet Jaguar as a live action <laughs> MonsterVerse character. Because I feel like he's very underrated. In fact, for those of you who don't know who Jet Jaguar is, he's like the Ultraman looking guy. And he held up the, the monster for Godzilla to do the infamous flying kick on. That guy. I think that will be a good a good character to bring into the monster verse. Do not do destroy. It's too soon. We need like Marvel, like what Marvel did. We need enough movies to eventually build up towards like an Avenger style movie for the monster verse, and then you can bring in destroy it. But they definitely need to bring back Shimo. They need to bring back Suko. Shimo is has become a fan favorite. So, and she's a good guy now. So it only makes sense to keep her. And I don't know. Maybe they're brave enough. Kill off Kong. <laughs> And make Suko the next the next lead monster. So yeah, that's my prediction for Godzilla X Kong Three. If the Shang Chi writer is listening to this episode, I hope I gave you some ideas. Don't do the Thanos monster yet. Um, guess do like an original. So you, they, have, yeah. they should yeah. come up with a new original villain. Yeah. Uh, probably like the same species as Godzilla, cause the in, in New Empire it was like a orangutan, which well, is apes. Yeah, yeah. And then of course the Godzilla or Kong wins. <laughs> it's always a happy ending. <laughs> How should they do Shimo and Suko? I don't know, just like side characters. They just tag along. <laughs> Should the story be more focused on Hollow Earth or they go back up to the surface? Probably the surface because Godzilla is there. He's sleeping in the Roman Coliseum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Adam Wingard did say he wants... Um, this next movie to be more focused on Godzilla, which is fair. We have two movies that was Kong focused, so he wants this movie to be more Godzilla focused. And so, what what should we ex- what should you expect Godzilla to do in this next movie? Have a new form with a different color again. <laughs> <laughs> he this time he's he's red like Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> so that's your prediction, or at least that's what you yeah thought Godzilla does track and field <laughs> just two know. hours of Godzilla doing this yes <laughs> I don't know let me see I don't know the list of villains is there any villains in the monster verse already they haven't done yet besides the Gigan I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking of the Toho monsters there's Gigan Hedera which is the slime looking guy. There's also this, like this big flower looking like villain, which is that one. Um, Megalon. Those are all I can think for now. I don't know. Hmm. A couple of them team up. Maybe like two or three. And then Godzilla and Kong fights them. Oh, also Rodan. We've only seen him in King of Monsters. Where is where has he been after? <laughs> Who is that? Just giant flying pterodaco dinosaur fiery guy. Could be like a team up of the remaining monsters. They and then, you know, they fight Godzilla, Kong. They're like, "Oh no, we're losing!" And then backup comes in, all the Shimo and whatever. Mm, Mothra is still around, yeah. Yeah, and so they all come in as backup, and they save them. They win, and then the enemy mon, the other monsters, get mad. They leave, they lost, and then maybe the next movie after that's the big Avengers. They go like, I don't know, go summon Destroya, the movie after, or something like that. And then they're like, and then that's the Avengers style threat. If they bring Destroya in the movie, one of the iconic monsters is going. I feel he will like, I think he will be able to kill off Kong. Is there any like Western like monsters? The Pacific Rim monsters, that's all I can think of. Well, about the, what I said about Trapper being the Ultraman guy, Jet Jaguar. I hope you know what Ultraman is. Yeah. Okay, good. 
Not the vid. Wait. I, I, what was Ultraman? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Can you describe it to him? It's like someone in a mech suit. Very helpful. Best powers. Thank you. I have no clue. I don't know where my phone is, but can one of you pull out your phone and search up Jet Jaguar? There's like, there's like Netflix shows of Ultraman. <laughs> when you say Ultraman, the only thing I can think of is Mega Man. Also, this wrap is actually not bad, but the onions are too raw. It's too harsh. Yeah, I've never seen him before. So yeah, that's Jet Jaguar. I'm saying they should bring him into the MonsterVerse and have is, Trapper is be he a actually Is he actually a MonsterVerse guy? No. He, he, what you just saw was him from the Toho movies. This is Ultraman. What the... Okay, I think I've seen him before then. He looks like a Power Ranger. But Jet Jaguar specifically was Toho's own version of Ultraman. Okay, so that's... Wait, what? I'm, I'm confused, but whatever. Okay. Toho is the com- studio that made Godzilla. In the Japanese films. Okay. So I'm saying we sh- they should satisfy the internet's wishes, have Trapper be the pilot for Jack Jaguar. Across Spider-Verse is good. Uh, Shang-Chi, not so much. So do you have faith that he'll do this movie well? Was How many writers were there for Spider-Verse? I think there were six. So he's just one of them? Yeah, he was one of them. And the Shang-Chi, how many? Three, maybe? Hmm. Mild confidence. I'd rate my confidence at like a... Seven out of ten, six point five. So he'll do Godzilla and Kong justice, hopefully. Hopefully, but uh, Shang Chi's story wasn't amazing. Really, I thought it was okay. It's okay, but it's not like amazing. Okay, this is gonna be like mukbangs, and if you want to watch, just call it samosa. <laughs> just call the video samosa. I'll just put Godzilla in the thumbnail. There you go. I already that that should put be. put Godzilla and a samosa in the thumbnail, and the title <laughs> is just samosa. There you go. And the Shang-Chi writer, I would just find an image of him and just chuck him in. And then people are like, what is going Who on? Who is this guy? <laughs> this Why? is one very messy episode. There's what? no structure. There's no plot to this. We're just <laughs> going along. There's no theme. But anyways, this wrap, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Because for, first and foremost, the chicken was questionable. And secondly, the onions are so raw. And I, uh, If you're going to put onions in a dish, they has, like it's so much better if you cook them. This raw onion just got, it's too harsh. You're trying to enjoy the flavors of the wrap. Suddenly, boom, the onion's like, hello there, what's up? It's too harsh. So, 5 out of 10 for the chicken wrap. Uh, 6. <laughs> What'd you like about it? What'd you hate about it? 6. <clears throat> the, the spices are good. Flavoring good. Anyways, this one last wrap video. Which one is that wrap again? Tikka Masala? Yes. Take it. Also, what's that box? Take it. I think they're all empty. No, wait, wait, wait. There, fold it up and throw it away. Oh, who wants the last samosa? Okay, well, now that you're basically done eating, what do you rank, what do you think of this place as a whole? We finally fulfilled your wishes, so why don't you go first? This was your idea, after all. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's all right. uh, the food's all right. I had better food. I had worse food. So um, it's mid. Yeah, mid. The portions are way too small. No kidding. It was just 30 Canadian dollars, right? 35. Close enough. Definitely should be more for that price. Yeah. Well... Safe to say we probably won't eat from this place again. Yeah. No offense. We I'm won't ho- say the name of the restaurant. Actually, what we just did. Wait. The logo was on the, the places. Listen, if the owners are watching this video, you know, just make some changes to your dishes. There's always room for improvement. We can prove us wrong. At least there wasn't raw chicken. Thank God. Some one of one reviews did say that. So, so we'll rank it the way the critics ranked it: five stars out of five stars. Where you rank it? Three stars. Three. Three as well. That's exactly the rating they have on Google. What was your reviews. favorite dish from all this? The samosa. 
Samosa. That was actually my least favorite dish. I like the spring roll the best. Spring roll is my least favorite. To be honest. Too slimy. It's like weirdly slimy inside. I don't know. It's too slimy. Yeah. How so? The the filling was slimy. Really? Yeah. You and I did not eat the same piece then. <laughs> Questionable slime uh spring roll. Mmm. What other mukbang should we do? What food should we eat? Thinking sushi. It's gonna be expensive, but sushi. No kidding. Um, spicy food, Korean food. Let's do it. Hell no. Yes. I'm gonna die on camera. That'll be fun. It's good content. I don't know if I want to put myself through that. <laughs> Imagine the views, though. Yeah, when I realized pain equals views. Yes. You gotta be in pain to get views. <laughs> Chinese man with no spice tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> on the ground. was rolling on the ground. Clenching on my stomach for dear life. Um, I guess we can tease our some upcoming episodes. We created a document um, to put some ideas just so they don't leave our brains on what episodes to film. This was one of them. <laughs> Although it was kind of a joke, but you know, yep. made it on there. Um, and I took the Godzilla's Kong 3 prediction one and put it in this video so we can cross that off the list. Uh, what are some other ones we got coming? We obviously have the Transformers 1 stuff. Deadpool and Wolverine review when the movie comes out late July. So quite a while from now. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, people wanted to see us review the Godzilla vs. Kong toys, but we're probably not filming that today. Um, in the future. In the future. <laughs> what other ones did we put? Oh, yeah, our guest episodes. I'm not going to say the names, uh, but we got, I got, I locked in, I locked in two guests. He's working on one. Yeah. <laughs> so one of them's a very famous British chef. I think that narrows it down pretty well. No, let me just shut that down before we create any false hype. We do not have Gordon Ramsay on the show. I wish I would try to reach out to his management team, see if he can actually get on the show. You know, it'll be it will actually be a fever dream. Gordon Ramsay coming to our studio. <laughs> if him sitting right there in that chair, that would be a dream. You should cook for him. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not happening. Well, yeah, what's the point of him calling you? But there is a, a big YouTuber that I'm actually trying to lock uh, to get uh, get on the show. He's not like big, big. He's not like an A-list celebrity, but he is pretty well known in a certain community. I am trying to see if the next time he comes to visit this city, he can uh, stop by and do an episode of us. That episode will go viral. Okay. I can't really foresee it. Okay. But what other guests do we have? Maybe, yeah, but then it would be a card episode. Well, speaking of card episodes, we're redoing, we're reshooting a new episode because the pr first one we did was kind of scuffed. Yeah, I mean, it's card related. There, there you go. There's a hint, and no one um, knows what it is yet. I mean, the footage. I think we're still try We're gonna salvage the footage, right? So it won't go to waste. Uh, part of it. But uh, well, obviously, it was filmed in the old setup with the older mics. We're gonna refilm it with the new setup. I think this is much better. Yeah. Hey, look, it better table. Actually, let's talk about it. The new setup. It's not super noticeable. Like, the changes aren't super obvious, but we have definitely upgraded. Um, after reviewing a lot of our old episodes, the most common problem was the mics and the audio quality. Hence, that's why we have these brand new mics at an affordable price because the good podcast mics are like $200, $500 each. Not sponsored, by the way. Yes. Um, I, we did a bit of research before landing on these mics. Do you want to explain the process, Brandon, while I finish this? Go on Amazon, search podcast mic, find cheapest one we can afford. Done. Yeah, but how did we land on this toner mic? I don't know. You're the one who tested it. <laughs> don't ask me. This, this guy, Ryan watched a review on some stuff, and he liked this mic, so he bought it, and he tried it. So what do you think then? Now that it's sitting in front of you, both of you give your opinions on this new mic. 
it looks good, but I don't know what the sound quality is because I haven't. Well, you've heard. The, I don't know yet. You've heard my test demo. I do not Posted know. Posted in the. Discord. It sounds good, but what I want to know is how it sounds in the podcast when there's a bunch of noise. So well, I guess we'll listen to that after this to see if the noise cancellation is actually good. The problem with the old mics was the echo filter, which is unfortunate because our highest viewed episode. As of now. Sounds like we were giving a sermon while reacting to Godzilla King of the Monsters. So two Godzilla videos. Also, today it just reached, one of them reached a thousand views. It's the King of Monsters reaction. Is the Godzilla vs. Kong one, like, far behind? I think it's like 700 something. Okay, not that far behind. It's getting there. We reached a milestone. Monster vs. Content gets views. Shock. You're cursed to do Monster vs. Content forever. <laughs> Another problem was background. Our two guest episodes with Danny and Jaden, I realized when the camera cuts to them talking, you can see the door and parts of the window in the background. And now, you can see here, it's all white. So we, we found a solution to that. Um, it's a very consistent white color. Maybe I don't know. We'll add I don't know how if you guys. This, I don't know how noticeable this is, but we've also swapped out the old green screen to. A white screen. I, I think it's very noticeable. Yeah, this looks is is it used to be like grayish, right? Now it's like pure white. The only thing we didn't really change is couch because couches are expensive. You can't really see the couch in the video. It's like very, very soft. Yeah. New table. That's a big one. New table. It's all black. It fits with the mic. It fits. Yeah, that's exactly why I went for this. It fits with the mic. And we have something else to add a bit more color to the setup. That actually shows up tomorrow as the time of filming this. Now, the cost of this. This was no cheap upgrade. Do you want to give an estimate or are you just going to say it? You're good at math. Let's do the math. This table was around 100 bucks. Each mic was around... Did you buy when it was on sale? Yeah. 90 after tax. 90. And I bought... I also bought this on when it was on sale. So... 290s then this one i bought for 100 something but then i had 20 per 20 dollars discount so 100 around 100 ish yeah what do you did you not buy all three during sale or no i bought this first i bought this before I, my trip and then i bought this one when i came back oh you bought oh you bought it before the, okay yeah there you go because i asked him to buy it first but then i ended up buying it instead okay tables 100 yep and then 50 okay and then i think 70 for the stand two separate things no sorry no um the screen itself was 20 and then the stand was 50 mm -hmm. so 70 all together mm -hmm. and then i accidentally i actually didn't mean to buy this <laughs> this was an accident uh so this was like around this was another 20 okay 20 20 70 you said 70 yeah Wait, 70. 70 in total for this? The screen and the stand, yes. 70, 29, okay. Obviously, we have existing gear, like the cameras. That stuff hasn't changed, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 470 total. Well, I definitely exaggerated on my community post. I said, upgrading our new $1,000 setup. It's more like 500. Half, half a grand. It's more of 500. It's more fun. It's still a lot of money, <laughs> to say the least. Do you want to count the prime in? No, that's still... That, all this, still doesn't add up to the total one of the really good podcast mics. That's that, true. That's yeah. that's actually a crazy thought. In, 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 instead of everything, we could have had just one mic. One new good mic. Yes. I think the cheapest podcast <coughs> mic we found, like, high-quality podcast mic. I've noticed a lot of podcast channels use Shure, the Shure mics. And I looked it up on Amazon. They're like two hundred and thirty, like two hundred and forty dollars each. Yeah. How do they afford this? It's beyond me. <laughs> oh, how much is your? Oh, I should I should I say what it is yet? The new. The sign. Oh yeah, we'll put. I mean, we're nearing the end of the episode. This is probably going to come out after. So. Yeah. Okay. We got a new. We have a new neon sign. That's the one thing that's missing. How much is that? Eighty six plus eleven dollar import fee. Round to a hundred. Basically. Five seventy total. 
the hooks I bought to hang it up when it gets here around seven bucks. So yeah, close close to five seventy, so almost six hundred. Which is one hell of an upgrade, I can tell you that. When we have our future guest episodes, I'll just use the snowball mic again. You normally see the big one with the guard. That's the the snowball mic. Um, yeah, we'll just use that when we have a guest. My plan is for a guest episode to use one of these mics, and then Santos uses the the snowball mic because he usually talks the least <laughs> in guest episodes. So it'll, it'll fit him. You can use the the snowball mic. Just that one's the worst. Yeah, these are, I guess, you like, did you test this against your snowball mic yet? You, no, the snowball mic has always been my best mic. Yeah, but what about this one? Compared to this one, well, this one's obviously better. Okay. But it, it's around the same price as the snowball mic, which was around 60 ish dollars when I bought it. Do you test the quality of your snowball mic? I've had it for so many years. Of course I know it. Yeah, but I mean, like, compared to this, did you compare it? Yeah. This is just more podcast appropriate. Snowball mic's not really. Well, we're done eating. How was that? You hungry still? No. <laughs> All right. I All think right. we rated it already. We rated it already. Okay, the whole experience. Out of five stars, again. Mm, three stars? Three stars. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Same rating. Five. Five out of five. Shock. Oh, oh, I, I had to add a ten. No. Uh, yeah, half. So two point five. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of slow, but I'll give it a, I'll give it a three as well. Will I eat this again? Probably not. But was it a good experience? Yes, because this guy keeps pushing it. So let's just say it's a bucket list, like something we can cross off the bucket list. Every time we see you go play on Samoa, we're just gonna. He's talking about Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch 2. We, we were going to order s- this. I think the next one we should do... Fried chicken. Oh, but I think it's so messy. Yeah, too messy. Yeah, what type of fried chicken, though? Like, if you get, like... Korean fried chicken, that's fine. Boneless ones should be yeah, fine. Yeah, boneless. Anything you boneless is okay. like steak and you want to get your hands dirty. Who cuts? No, do you do want that. to get no, you grease eat it in one bite? Grease you, all over the mic. No, you don't. You use a fork, you stab it, and then you eat it. One bite. You don't need to cut. <laughs> I it. guess, but like even then, oh. there's nothing wrong. If people eat steak. You don't. People see eat steak you, with their hand and just no one cuts their, their like chicken. No one cuts their chicken like a steak. I'm talking about like the small bite size. There's nothing wrong with a little professionalism. No. <laughs> okay. Like guys, popcorn is, chicken. You just use a fork. Yeah, I guess it's like a slightly bigger popcorn chicken. I guess. Sure. I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas. This guy has very questionable <laughs> eating techniques. I have nothing wrong. I am the most professional eater you've ever met. Sure. But I like episodes like this. It's like a casual conversation just on camera while eating. I can see why people like mukbangs. Do mukbang, mukbang people usually just eat food. They don't even talk. Like the ones that are like... No, I've seen a lot. Talk? The, the sidemen have done a lot of eating videos and they, they talk. Okay, I guess that... But like I've seen like people that are just dedicated to like table full of food, one person, they just eat. Yeah, because they're they're locked in, they're focusing on consuming. Like food. I'm, I'm, I was thinking about those ones, not the more casual ones. How do you think the people in Spotify are gonna feel? Then all they hear for the next hour is just. I don't know. Some some people are into that. Yeah, exactly. Some people just want to listen to eating sounds. This is more engaging. This is far more engaging. <laughs> You're just random conversation while eating samosas. Exactly. And the thing is, the best the best ones comes if there's like a fight that breaks up, which we're not going to do. I'm not going to make a mess of this place. But um, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we, should, we should make a video called playing on Samoa while eating samosas. <laughs> Maybe. If you guys want to see that, let us know in the comments. Um, but what do you think of the Santos? I mean, eating is in your nature. So this is episode good for you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Should we do more episodes like this? Maybe. Just casual, non-scripted? Yeah, yeah <clears throat> maybe. Yeah, but different food. Scripted, by non-scripted, I mean like we don't have like a prompt or a specific theme to talk about. Yeah. Well, next, uh, we could just do some of the topics. I mean, yeah. Instead talking, of making... Talking about video games while eating... Some yeah, instead of something. instead of doing full dedicated episodes to a specific small topic, yeah, you can just integrate it into episodes like this. 
Anyways, welcome to the new era of podcasts with Mark 45. This is the type of content you can expect now going forward. New upgrades, new topics, <laughs> and new style. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely think this is a major step up from what we were doing previously. Um, I don't know when this episode is going to come out, but you're going to see some older episodes that we filmed in December that are still not out yet. Such as a Transformers episode, an anime episode. We still have not gone near those episodes yet, so we need to get those out. And uh, you'll be like, what? The quality is going to be a little bit inconsistent because we filmed those at December when the podcast, when, when the show was just at its beginning. So. Do you want to release those first so that it doesn't feel as weird? We could. Release those, then the Prime, and that's the transition, and then it goes into all the new ones. We could. And my editor's going to have to rush th those episodes then. I forgot how many we still have left. I just know we have Transformers, anime, and something else. So is it guest episode or just... No, all the guest episodes are out. Jaden and Denny's are out. Okay. So, we haven't filmed any of the new ones yet. In case you, you didn't know, so... Good food. Mid food. Yeah, mid food. I'm sorry. Brandon, would you like to outro the episode? Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I don't know. Jesus Maybe. Christ. If you enjoyed this episode, thanks. Oh, even I screwed it up. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And for Spotify listeners, rate us. There is now ratings. You can rate the show out of five stars. Please be nice to us. And yeah, looking forward to more episodes coming out such as these casual mukbangs thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one